In this video, I will show you how to use Soundpad on Discord. So let's jump straight into it. So Soundpad is basically a application and what it does, it allows you to play sound effects through different voice channels on Discord. So first, what you're going to want to do, if you've not already got it downloaded, you want to come across to this website here, which is lepsoft.com forward slash soundpad forward slash en forward slash download. And from here, what you're going to want to do is download the appropriate version. So whether you've got a 32-bit Windows or a 64-bit version of Windows. So click the download button. And then what you want to do is go ahead and open this to run the setup wizard. So once you've got Soundpad installed, what you're next going to want to do is configure this to work for Discord. To do this, come down to your search box in the bottom left hand corner, click onto the search and then go ahead and type Soundpad into here. Underneath best match, you should see the Soundpad app, so you can click onto this to open up the app. So as you can see, we've currently got four sounds pre-installed, so you can double click to play any of these. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is come up to the top left hand corner, click onto file and come down to preferences. From here, you'll notice at the top we've got some different tabs. If you actually click onto devices, and what you want to do first is make sure that the correct microphone is selected. You can see in my example, I've got the Razer Syrah Mini selected. So once that's done and you've got that selected, what you want to do is come down, click apply and OK to apply those preferences. And then you want to open up Discord. Once you're logged into Discord, what you now want to do is come to your settings. So if you come down to the bottom left hand corner, you want to click onto this gear icon to open up your settings. And then on the left hand side, underneath app settings, what you want to do is click onto voice and video. Now from here what you're going to want to do is make sure your input device is the same as the device selected on Soundpad. So for my case that's going to be the Razer Siren Mini. Next what you're going to want to do is scroll down a bit and it's just a couple of things we're going to change. So what you want to do underneath voice processing you want to turn off echo cancellation and also where it says noise suppression, suppress background noise, you want to change this to none. So once that's done, that's all going to be set up ready for you to use. So when you next go into your voice channels, what you can do is use Soundpad to play the different sounds through your voice chat. So I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.